Hello, biology enthusiast. I am Kai, your host for this amazing human body quiz challenge. Do you really think you know the ins and outs of how your body works? Well, get ready to explore some of the most fascinating trivia facts about the human body. Let's dive in. Question number one. What organ in our body makes insulin that helps control our blood sugar? A. Liver B. Pancreas C. Kidneys D. Spleen Time's up. The correct answer is B. Pancreas. This incredible organ not only helps us digest food, but also produces insulin, a hormone that helps regulate our blood sugar levels. The pancreas is like a multitasking superhero in our body. Question 2. Which is the smallest bone in our body? A. Femur B. Tibia C. Stapes D. Radius It is C. Stapes this tiny bone, also known as the stirrup, is found in our inner ear and helps us hear by transmitting sound vibrations. It's tucked up all the way in our inner ear, helping us pick up all the sounds around us. Get ready for question 3. Which part of our brain controls our emotions and helps us remember things for a long time? A. Cerebellum B. Amygdala C. Hypothalamus D. Thalamus The correct answer is B. Amygdala. This part of our brain is like our memory bank and emotional control center, helping us remember special moments and react to different feelings. Question 4. Which muscle in our body is the strongest compared to its size? A. Gluteus maximus B. Biceps brachii C. Masseter D. Soleus The correct answer is C. Masseter. This super strong jaw muscle helps us chew our food and talk with our friends and family. The masseter muscle is a real powerhouse. Without it, we couldn't enjoy all our favorite foods without breaking a sweat. Question 5. What do the tiny air sacs in our lungs called alveoli do? A. Carry oxygen B. Filter blood C. Make mucus D. Absorb oxygen and remove carbon dioxide The answer is D. Absorb oxygen and remove carbon dioxide. These little guys work hard to make sure we get plenty of oxygen and get rid of the carbon dioxide our bodies don't need. They're an important part of what allows us to breathe, making sure our bodies get all the oxygen they need to keep us going strong. Here comes question 6. How fast can nerve messages travel in our body? A. 270 miles per hour B. 200 miles per hour C. 190 miles per hour D. 390 miles per hour And the correct answer is A. Around 270 miles per hour That is 120 meters per second That's right, our nerves are like lightning bolts Sending messages to our brains and bodies faster than a speeding bullet Question 7. Which vitamin do we make when we spend time in the sun? A. Vitamin A B. Vitamin C C. Vitamin K D. Vitamin D The answer is vitamin D. When we soak up some sunshine, our bodies make this important vitamin that helps keep our bones strong and our immune systems healthy. Sunshine isn't just good for our mood, it's also good for our health. Question 8. What does bile do in our digestive system? A. Helps break down fats. B. Neutralizes stomach acid. C. Breaks down proteins. D. Helps digest carbohydrates. The correct answer is A. Helps break down fats. Bile, made by our liver and stored in our gallbladder, helps our bodies digest fatty foods so we can get all the nutrients we need. Bile might not get much attention, but it's a real hero in our digestive system. Question 9. What is the name of the genetic material found in the nucleus of our cells? A. RNA B. DNA C. ATP D. mRNA
And the correct answer is B DNA. This amazing molecule contains all the instructions our bodies need to grow, develop, and function properly. Think of it like the instruction manual for our bodies, containing all the information our cells need to do their jobs and keep us healthy. Next question. What is the longest bone in the human body? A. Tibia B. Humerus C. Femur D. Fibula The answer is C. Femur. Femur, or thigh bone, is the longest and strongest bone in the human body. The femur supports much of our body weight and is crucial for standing, walking, and running. It's the body's central pillar of support. Question number 11. What protein in red blood cells carries oxygen throughout the body? A. Collagen B. Keratin C. Myosin D. Hemoglobin The answer is D. Hemoglobin. This protein binds oxygen in the lungs and carries it to tissues throughout the body. Hemoglobin not only transports oxygen but also gives red blood cells their characteristic color. Without it, our cells wouldn't get the oxygen they need to function. Moving on to question 12. What is the powerhouse of the cell that is responsible for generating energy? A. Ribosome B. Endoplasmic reticulum C. Nucleus D. Mitochondria And the correct answer is D. Mitochondria. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. These tiny organelles act like cellular power plants, converting nutrients into energy that our cells can use to carry out their various functions. Next up is question 13. What is the purpose of the cerebellum in the brain? A. Regulate body temperature. B. Control balance and coordination. C. Process visual information. D. Control breathing. It's B. Control balance and coordination. The cerebellum, located at the back of the brain, helps us maintain our balance and coordinate movements like walking and dancing. It is our body's internal gyroscopes, ensuring we stay balanced, coordinated, and steady on our feet. Question 14. Which part of the eye is responsible for focusing light onto the retina? A. Lens B. Iris C. Retina D. Cornea The correct answer is A. Lens. This flexible, transparent structure behind the iris adjusts its shape to focus light rays onto the retina, allowing us to see objects clearly. It works very similarly to a camera lens, helping us focus on objects near and far. Question 15. Which gland in the brain produces melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep-wake cycles? A. Pituitary gland B. Thyroid gland C. Pineal gland D. Adrenal gland And the correct answer is C. Pineal gland. This small gland, located deep within the brain, secretes melatonin in response to changes in light, helping regulate our circadian rhythm. It's our body's internal clock, helping us know when it's time to sleep and when it's time to wake up. Question 16. What is the purpose of the small intestine in the digestive system? A. Absorb nutrients. B. Produce digestive enzymes. C. Store waste. D. Regulate water balance. The answer is A. Absorb nutrients. The small intestine is where most of the digestion and absorption of nutrients from food takes place, ensuring our bodies get the energy and building blocks they need to function. Question 17. What is the main function of white blood cells in the immune system? A. Carry oxygen. B. Fight infection. C. Transport nutrients. D. Regulate body temperature. And the correct answer is B. Fight infection. White blood cells are the superheroes of our immune system, patrolling our bodies and attacking bacteria, viruses, and other invaders that can make us sick. Question 18. What is the function of the renal system in the human body? A. 
regulate blood sugar, B, digest food, C, produce hormones, D, filter waste from the blood, it's D, filter waste from the blood. The renal system, which includes the kidneys and urinary tract, filters waste and excess fluids from the bloodstream, helping maintain the body's internal balance. It's our body's built-in filtration system, removing waste and toxins so our other organs can function properly. Question 19. What is the purpose of the olfactory nerve in the human body? A. Control breathing. B. Regulate heart rate. C. Transmit smell signals to the brain. D. Control muscle movements. The correct answer is C. Transmit smell signals to the brain. The olfactory nerve carries information about smells from the nose to the brain, allowing us to detect and identify different scents. Here comes the last question. What is the main function of the skeletal system in the human body? A. Produces blood cells. B. Regulates body temperature. C. Provides support and protection. D. Stores energy. Time's up. The answer is C. Provides support and protection. The skeletal system, made up of bones and connective tissues, gives our body structure and stability, protecting our internal organs and allowing us to stand tall and move around freely. Cool, right? Well done, everyone. I hope you had fun thinking about how incredible and crazy the human body can be. Keep thinking, keep learning, and stay curious. We'll love to see your score in the comments below, and don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more amazing content like this.